Hey guys, what's up? Pase Baller here. We are now on the 7th prediction or 7th game for December 26, 2021 NBA game day. This is the game between Indiana Pacers with a record of 14 and 19 going up against the home team Chicago Bulls having a record of 19 and 10. This one will be played 8 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time, so that's 9 o'clock a.m. here in Manila. All right, let's take a look at the Eastern Conference standings first before we talk about these two teams. For Chicago Bulls, they are ranked number two in the East. And for their last 10 games, they've won seven. Approaching this game, they've won back-to-back. -back. Now for Indiana Pacers, they are at number 13, right there at the bottom of the East. Um, but uh, they're having a decent, uh, you know, decent performance for their last 10 games. They've won five. And actually approaching this game, they're coming off a win. And if I'm not mistaken, that was their win against Houston Rockets. Uh, but they almost blew that one, you know, if, if you guys watch that. All right. Let's talk about the Chicago Bulls would have the home court advantage. Chicago Bulls would have the momentum. Okay, fatigue won't be there. Both teams did not play yesterday. Uh, overall, Chicago Bulls is actually the better team against Indiana Pacers. But let's go ahead and take a look at... Uh, the injured, the injury, the injured people, or those who would not be available uh, for the game uh, tonight. Starting off with Chicago Bulls, and I'm happy to see you know these kind of teams are in the the injury list is just short. You know, um, I'm really happy, and I'm so frustrated whenever I see a team are in like man, more than ten are actually sick or are actually hurt. Anyway, Chicago Bulls, uh, Derek Jones Jr., Alex Caruso, and Patrick Williams, uh, all three will be not available for this game against Indiana. So three players out for Chicago Bulls. Well, Indiana Pacers, um, TJ McConnell and Warren, uh, both listed as out for this game, while uh, Sabonis and Brogdon, uh, both listed as questionable or game time this under game time decision for this game. So two confirmed out for Indiana Pacers, possibly four, depending on uh, the situation of those two players that I mentioned in Sabonis and Brogdon. All right, well, let me get this one short. The Chicago Bulls is a scary team right now, like super scary. If you're uh, a part of the East uh, Eastern Conference and you go in, and you would bump into Chicago Bulls. Now that they have, uh, you know, their uh, their weapons back, they got Levine, they got the Rosen, they got their center, they got Ball. Um, I I can't I can't think of any Eastern Conference uh, team which could go against Chicago Bulls right now and can handle them, uh, at least at the moment, right? <laughs> Remember what happened uh, on that Brooklyn versus Chicago Bulls game, right? And Brooklyn is the number one team in the East. So, uh, well, obviously, Indiana Pacers is a part of the Eastern Conference. Plus, it, it ain't even we ain't even sure if Sabonis or Brogdon uh, will be playing. Man, this is an easy win for Chicago Bulls. Let's just talk about the spread, whether they would be able to cover it or not. It's minus 8.5 for Chicago Bulls. Again, uh, the major keys or components of Chicago Bulls are available. While for Indiana, um, we ain't sure if their best players are going to play. So I'm siding with Chicago Bulls covering the spread 8.5. Chicago Bulls minus 8.5. Peace out. Pase love and God bless.